Thank you. I call, I call the honourable member Mike Saban. Uh, thank you, sir, and I'll join with the many others that are acknowledging your uh, uh, new position. I have to say that I'll miss you as Minister for Courts and uh, Associate Minister of Justice and, and uh, uh, Social Development and the really good work um, that you've done there, sir. But uh, no doubt you've got a lot uh, to offer in this position, so uh, I'll be very pleased to see, see you grow and develop in that role. Um, just to acknowledge everyone that's uh, made it back into Parliament, those that have come new to the place or those that have come back. Um, my colleague uh, Calvin Davis, who has worked very, very hard um, previously as an MP, but certainly in the time uh, that he was vacant from here and coming back. So just acknowledge uh, you, Calvin, and the work uh, that I know you'll continue to do. Um, and just also join with Mike Mitchell in, in uh, acknowledging uh, those National Party, new National Party members and the maiden speeches and what have you. Um, I think I also went to Harvard. I think there's been a bit of mention about Harvard, uh, sir. I, I went to Harvard. I, I was delivering newspapers. Um, that's about as close as I got to a degree. Uh, I did get school cert. Uh, I got UE accredited, though, sir, so don't, don't panic. Um, <laughs> that, that, that was a stretch. Uh, Sir, look, I, um, coming into this place, and I've had a you know, relatively mixed and varied background, but I guess everyone comes here wanting to make a difference. Um, I guess the, the challenge is how do you actually give effect to that? Uh, saying it certainly doesn't do it. And for me, coming from the area of Northland, and, and I, I guess I think of it as a region, although it's two electorates, but Northland is a place that's blessed with opportunity, but really being dogged by underperformance. And I think there's a number of reasons for that. Um, and a lot of the problems that, uh, you know, that come as a result of the underperformance, the, the uh, social dysfunction and the crime and drug use and so forth, sir, uh, so much of that I think uh, can, be, can be hinged back to the fact that when an economy is not performing, uh, then, then people uh, occupy themselves in other ways and some of those aren't particularly constructive. So, um, sir, my goal was to set about trying to identify a whole of region economic business growth agenda, if you like, sir, identify what the enablers and constrainers were there across that economy and articulate that as clearly as possible into this place so that the policy resource and infrastructure that I believe will, will help grow that economy in Northland is better, better understood and is better advocated for. And so I see, see that as my role, sir. It's not good enough just to occupy one of these green seats. You've actually got to bring a constructive business case, I think, to the table and demonstrate why it is that the investment and in policy is going to return the results. Um, it's fair to say there's a wee way to go there, sir, but um, I was very pleased during the uh, campaign to have Stephen Joyce, the Prime Minister, and Chris Finlayson uh, in uh, Whangarei in the Northland region, Whangarei electorate, uh, to make an announcement about the government's commitment on some of the work that we've been doing over those th uh, first three years. And, sir, um, I'll just run through those very quickly. Um, so there's 10 uh, government priorities uh, for Northland, uh, and the first of them was the Pūhua to Wellsford and getting that project underway ASAP. It's now construction ready. It's a case of, um, of, of getting the people to do the job, and that will kick off. And that is a significant investment um, for all of Northland because it says that Northland is open for business. It's not just about the cars and the trucks that travel up and down it. It actually sends a very strong economic signal to opportunity, business opportunity. Uh, sir, the um, uh, further rollout of UFB RBI and fixing some of the cell phone black spots in Northland, and I know Calvin will join with me in s suggesting that there's more black spots there than, uh, than of the average leopard, sir. Um, and, and so that, that will connect uh, Northlanders uh, uh, you know, to the rest of the world, uh, both you know, through the internet and obviously uh, through uh, electronic you know, cell phone devices, which are so important in the modern world. Um, uh, more Māori and Pacific uh, trades training, sir, and encouraging uh, support for mineral, gas and oil exploration. When you look in an economy like Northlands, you've got to say to yourself, if you keep doing the same thing, are you going to get a different result? Or do you have to create new opportunities to bring new people in and new jobs? And, and sir, gas, oil and minerals is, is one area that I believe offers that new opportunity. Uh, uh, working with Napui to negotiate uh, that trade, trade settlement and working with the Minister uh, Chris Finlayson, who's doing an outstanding job. That is so important to Northland, and, and let's hope that that really progresses. Lifting productivity in the primary sector through the primary industries initiative that we've got underway up there, sir, and uh, Māori agricultural uh, uh, agribusiness program. Working to get the Waipa forest listed as a national park, sir. It should be. It's an iconic tree globally, uh, and Northland deserves to have a, a national park. 
Uh, reforming the Tūra Whenua Māori Land Act, sir, I mean, it's so important to get that productive land up and working because a lot of it is so unproductive and solving multiple title, and let's hope that uh, Chris Finlayson can complete that work. It's certainly some good work going on. Uh, primary growth partnership, the quadruple avocados, uh, sir, and also completing the regional growth study to identify business growth, investment opportunities, trade opportunities. Northland is the fastest growing region in the country, sir. It's a good place to be, good place to invest. Yes, sir. <laughs>